recording is from March 2021. Olá, olá, tudo bom? Here is Ambrosia de Suari, an Eldrin vampire elf, a warrior with Hexblade subclass. Eric, the one who commissioned it and envisioned this character, he said that Ambrosia moves a lot in the battlefield, acting very aggressive and being somewhat arrogant at times. Thus, you see that his visual design evokes somewhat of that anti-hero vibe, with pointy features and muted colors for a good portion of his clothing, for example. That whole start, just figuring out the best pose for the character. I could definitely work with one or two that we have already, but the thing is, I really had to emphasize the sword in this artwork. Dude uses a huge broken sword with a blade that is made of some sort of magic. Come on now, that had to be the focus of this painting. Anti-heroes are such an interesting part of building narratives, don't you think? They are basically those characters who aren't morally good, per se, and they behave in very different ways when compared to a quote-unquote normal hero. They tend to be selfish, antisocial, somewhat of psychopaths even. And why is it that we like them so much? I mean, I'm sure you can name at least a few anti-heroes that you really like, huh? Feel free to comment your favorite ones here. The way I see it, and later found out a better way to put it while researching for this video, we tend to like this kind of protagonist because we see ourselves in their flaws. With their fragility as humans and their they free them to do what they believe to be right. Like doing things we maybe would like to do, but perhaps would be too afraid of the judgment and our consequences. Something along those lines. Most of the time they are clearly imperfect, yet charismatic just enough for us to be able to sympathize with them. Coming back to the sword yet again, a neat little trick that you see me using quite often when it comes to weapons is drawing it in plain view and then distorting it into perspective, later adding the sides and the bevels to make it obviously look right, but that my friends, that helps a lot, especially if it's something symmetrical. Granted this the sword is not completely symmetrical, but like the guard and everything is just... Anyway, that's a nice way to tackle such things. And you see that although I try to avoid using many layers, I feel like it is very important to keep certain things separated. Like the sword in a layer, and then the character, and then, in this case, the cape, which is uh, also in a separate layer. That will help me add the colors and later just figure out the best way to work around everything without having to worry about colors splitting into other sections and so on.
since I wasn't used to making characters like that. The first sketch, although most of the armor was in place, Ambrosia's face was super chill. <laughs> and that's something I've been working on ever since I've made this commission, was to make more expressive faces. It's very easy for me to make my characters express very little with their faces, which is, honestly, a safe bet when it comes to commissions. Yes, but it's also very... how can I say this, like, it's a big missed opportunity. Yes, that, that's what it feels like, because our faces are such an important part of how we communicate and present ourselves, that not using that in, f in the favor of the character being painted, it feels... well, now it feels basically like a scene. Olha lá como a gente vai chegando aqui no final, hein? Ó. Oh. So, yeah, I'm just sample colors and paint over everything. I'm sitting here recording and thinking to myself what more information could I add here and I think I'll tell you some kind of like random facts about this painting I don't know but check this out the red parts of this painting his armor and sword serve almost as a frame to the character's face the cape's negative space makes the character's hand stand out which has a lot of pointy shapes and that, again, helps to bring up that dangerous vibe to this character. Of course, there, there are other things that help with that, but like, this is a nice little detail that I, I think about while painting. And do you remember when I said in the beginning of this video that Ambrosia was very agile when fighting? So, part of the reason there's some loose pieces of cloth from his waist down is because of that. Imagine how cool he would look while moving around in battle. His cape and those details floating around while he moves around, swinging his sword, leaving that trace of magic and the capes following it. Like, I don't know, it just seemed very cool in my mind, so yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like this painting, I hope you did as well. I don't have a lot more to say, I'm a... I think I'll leave you at that. I'm gonna just wish you an amazing rest of your day and yeah, go on, have a good one. I'll see you in the next video. Yeah, ciao ciao!